All right, what's up, guys? I'm fucking hammered. Yeah, all right. Um, as you can notice, if you care at all, I got different goggles. This one, you can see my eyes. Ho oh, ho. I usually don't go for things where you can see my fucking eyes. But this time, I'm going for them because these ones actually work and don't fog up. Anyway, today, I decided I'm going to do a review on Oblivion. Now, definitely... It's got a way bigger goddamn map than fucking Skyrim. It's so much bigger than Skyrim. Definitely, positively awesome. And as you can see, I have a Black Ops 2 poster. Yay! Anyway, <laughs> um, I like Oblivion because I get like a bigger map. Definitely bigger map. And it's got a different feeling to it. Like, you're playing Oblivion, you, you're you not the hero, which in Skyrim you are. But in Oblivion, you're not like the boss, but you're like the boss's right-hand man. And it's amazingly awesome. That's one of the cool parts. Uh, second, yep, yeah, big fucking map. And, uh... And that soundtrack is fucking awesome. It's amazing. And I like the cities. They're a lot bigger than fucking Skyrim. And Skyrim, they're not so big. They're actually really fucking small in Skyrim. And it kind of pisses me off. And it's crazy. And yeah, the roads and shit. At least in Skyrim, they or Oblivion, they actually give you a fucking map of where you are. So you know where the fucking roads go. So you can tell, like, alright, I go down the road, then I take a left, and then I take a right, and then I'm there. And, or, I walk down the street, like, four miles, and then I'm there. But yeah, the right-hand man thing, that's really what I'm ta focusing on right now. Because you feel like it, you almost feel like it, you know, at the end when Martin's going... Farewell, my friend. You've been a good friend for the short time of knowing I've known you. You really feel that. Like, it's awesome. Also, take a fucking breath. Hold on. It's hot in this fucking mask. Besides that, it's fucking July. <sighs> anyway. I'm looking at my I'm looking at my TV by the way if you're wondering because I got oblivion going right now because I felt like playing it like the soundtrack was actually a bit more on this lines. Like, I started out with Oblivion. I didn't play, like, Morrowind because I heard it sucked major donkey balls. But. But I'm more hooked on or this soundtrack. Because, uh, this one's just so much better. Anyway. But yeah, you feel like the fucking right hand man, really. And there's so much more to explore. Like, there's alien ruins that I still haven't discovered or been in in Oblivion. Well, in Skyrim, I've been in most of them already. And I haven't even had the game for a year yet. But. Also. Um. Fuck, this is getting itchy. Anyway. Just a thing to say. In that whole intro in a uh, fucking... Skyrim, it kind of doesn't give you the same, uh, the same feeling. Like, in Oblivion, you get to wake up in a prison, and you go, and you can make up your storyline from there. In this one, it, in fucking Skyrim, it goes, uh, oh, you're trying to cross the border, weren't you? You walked right into the Imperial Ambush. You can't just make up your own shit. Like, I was on my way to the execution because I'm a mass-murdering motherfucker. But no, you gotta make up, oh, I was crossing the border because I wanted to do this shit. 
shit like that. Anyway. But in Oblivion, you get to do that. In Oblivion, I'm in prison because I'm a mass murdering motherfucker. It works with my storylines that I give them. That I make up on the spot. That's pretty much it. So, I would give it a Oblivion. Once again, it's, it's a fucking awesome game. 9.8. Minus, since minus, it's kind of fucking hard to kill someone with a fucking bow. That takes the two, point two points away. Point two points? Uh, point two points away for trying to kill someone with a bow, which is impossible. 9.8, it's a good game.